once you accept the trip, the Lyft has something actually superior with the upfront than Uber does. So these are second stage. This, these are the stages of the trip that you have accepted the request already, okay? Once you go and push to those three lines on the lower right-hand corner of the app, this screen will pop up. This is on your way to pick up, okay? This is on your way to pick up. Uber's information is pretty vague, actually, because now you have to remember the upfront fare that you had you were offered for this trip. It doesn't say that. It tells you where to pick up the passenger, right? It gives you the rating, and if they're, you know, that's it. It doesn't say anything else. This is on the way. This is period two, people. On pick after request accepted, on the way to the passenger to pick up. On the right hand side is the lift screen. Well, I think I like that a lot better because it shows what the trip came in at the upfront fare, eleven dollars and thirteen cents. The pickup point, the drop off point. It gives you pretty much all this information. So you, even on your way there, you can maybe decide to cancel this trip, right? But on the Uber's case, they don't show you much. They just show you where the pickup is, the rating, and that's about it. So you really have to remember what Uber was paying you for that upfront fare. And if you're doing mm -hmm. 20, 30, 40, 50, I think Lyft is far superior on the way to the passenger in period two, right? Oh, yeah, because you see all that info right there. Yeah. I mean, you just, look, you just look at the two, what one looks better. Yeah. Uh, clear, yeah. Clearly, the, the Lyft side is, is much better. Uh, yeah. And again, for those for who are for the those uh, who are actually listening to this um, on the podcast, or you know, if you're just not paying attention to the video because you're just playing it, whatever, um, it's just the screenshots. Like like Sergio said, it's it's basically when you accept the ride, you're in route to the passenger, and if you are you know clicking on the three little dots uh, on the bottom there and pulling up the menus uh, yeah. for the ride itself. Uh, yeah. That is is what we're looking at. Yeah, I think I think this is so far superior than to Uber's uh, on period three and period. I mean, period two, period three. You know, you're going to see the same thing. Uh, and then Uber, uh, you know what? Uh, also, uh, actually, you know what? Let's let's go to, to the next screenshots. This is yeah. the the actual upfront earnings when the ping request yeah. actually comes in. So on this one, Uber's yeah. versus Lyft's. And uh, guess what? You know what? I almost picked identical chips. These are all my own screenshots. Uh -huh. and they're both going to Hollywood Burbank Airport, right? From where I was. Oddly enough, they both gave me this this trip, right? Mm -hmm. So this is Uber's upfront pricing for a 21, 11 mile, um, 21 minute trip. If you added the pickup, that's 26 minutes and 13 miles for ten and ten dollars and twenty nine cents, which includes the fifty five cent fuel surcharge, by the way, people. So this trip is about nine dollars and seventy five cents, and Gabe is shaking his head. <laughs> and then on the right hand side, it's almost the identical trip. If you guys look at it, just the pickup is a little bit longer on the Lyft screen. Uber, so Lyft with the two seventy five bonus is paying me eleven. So Lyft is paying me a little bit more for this trip than Uber was, and quite a bit more actually, buck and a half more. I still wouldn't do both because it's half hour of work for thirteen seventy six gross, right? Yeah. Now, now what the difference is. See, on this one, Uber for me is superior on the ping screen, right? Because it gives you um, the exact address of the pickup point. Because for veteran drivers, this is important. If you know your city well, you know these streets well. And it also gives you the drop-off, exact drop-off address. On Lyft, it just says 10 minutes, and then you got the map. Obviously, the colorful map with the pink and the purple. I get that. But if you're a newbie and you don't know where things are at yet in your city, this is more difficult for me to read. So Lyft is superior on the way to the passenger to pick up. And Uber's ping screen on the initial ping that comes in, I think for me, is superior because I know my city well. I know a lot of crossing streets. So mm -hmm. um, I think it's an easier map to read and then easier to reposition yourself. But these both trips, I wouldn't have accepted irregardless. Yeah. Now, I want to ask the chat, what do you think? Do you like Uber's ping screen better or Lyft's? Uh, yeah. Now, you, you just said yours. Uh, Gabe, I'll ha I will ask you yours in a second. Um, for me personally, I like Lyft's... All right. All right, here we go. I like Lyft's look better, but I like Uber's info a lot more because, again, it gives you that that street um, pickup drop-off. So you have a you don't have to look at the map if you don't want to. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it just gives you, gives you that better option. Um, so I, I like the layout, though, of Lyft's better. I just like the info that Uber has more. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club, with Sergio and myself. 
Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.